Tony Khan. Tony, good morning to you. Good morning, Dave. How are you? I am awesome. Thank you so much. Morning, for the Tony. Time. Hey, Mark. I'm excited for tonight. Excited for a big rampage tonight. Man, I'm excited too. Well, there's definitely a big card in store for Rampage tonight, Tony. That's for sure. Yeah, it should be a lot of fun. I'm really excited. Uh, it's a big card. We're opening the Forbidden Door. Uh, we have Switchblade Jay White debuting in AEW against Trent Beretta, which should be a great match and a bunch of great wrestling on the card. And a special start time tonight. Normally, we start Rampage a little bit later, 10 p.m. Eastern, 9 p.m. Central. And tonight, the show is starting earlier with the coverage of All-Star Weekend. Tonight is the Rampage Slam Dunk. And it should be a Slam Dunk great card. Uh, you know, in addition to Trent Beretta versus Jay White, there's a lot of great stuff tonight. And I think it's going to be a really big week ahead for AEW, and I'm really excited about it. Well, as Tony just mentioned, special start time tonight on Rampage on TNT, 7 p.m. Eastern time, Mark, tonight on TNT. And there are a lot of yeah. big matchups. And and Tony and, and Mark, too, I want to get your take on this because we do have a uh, face of the revolution qualifying match tonight between Dante Martin uh, and Powerhouse Hobbs, Tony, tonight. <laughs> Yeah, I'm really excited for that match. And it's it's a rubber match. We've seen Hobbs versus Dante. They have great chemistry in these matches. And they've split the first two. So I'm really excited uh, for the fans to get this match tonight. Dante Martin versus Will Hobbs. And the winner goes on to the face of the Revolution ladder match at Revolution. Uh, for a shot at the TNT title, we've already got some great people uh in that matchup and it should be a lot of fun uh and also uh tonight very very excited about adam cole taking on number 10 of the dark order number 10 went wild on wednesday night on dynamite after uh, hangman was attacked by adam cole bobby fish and kyle o'reilly <coughs> very cool uh to see that side of number 10 that killer big man side and I'm hoping we get to see more of that side of number 10 tonight when he takes on the great Adam Cole. Tony, I, I, I'm, I'm excited about tonight, like to see Dante Martin and, and Will Hobbs. Uh, but both being young guys, like we, we have these guys to see for the next five to ten years. Like, I mean, it, it, they're so young. They, they're so fresh. Uh, don't you think that this could be one of those sagas that we talk about for years and years to come? I do think it's a great rivalry between Hobbs and Dante, uh, and that's why I wanted to have this be a face of the revolution qualifying match. It felt like big stakes on a big match in a big rivalry. Uh, so very excited for that one. Uh, it should be a great card tonight. We're also going to get the professor, Serena Deeb, uh, with her five-minute rookie challenge. And uh, last time, she made very quick work of her opponent. Uh, tonight, she's going to be trying to do it again with that five-minute clock running. Uh, Serena Deeb, one of the best technicians in all of pro wrestling. So, really, you're getting some of the best in-ring wrestlers in the world tonight on Friday Night Rampage at that special start time, 7 Eastern and 6 Central and for Pacific, which is unusual for us. So uh, really uh, hoping to make the fans happy with some great wrestling at a different hour. Yeah, and Tony, like we were just talking about Dante Martin and Powerhouse Hobbs. I mean, we've kind of just seen Powerhouse Hobbs over the last year just mature so much in the ring. And he's always had the great size. He's always had the strength. But we've really seen him mature inside the ring, especially the last few months. Absolutely. Both Powerhouse Hobbs and Dante Martin have come so far uh, in the last couple of years. They're both really great young wrestlers. Dante, in particular, is a very young 20-year-old wrestler with so much great stuff in front of him. And Powerhouse Hobbs, I think, is one of the best big men in the game right now and has so much upside. It's amazing, again, how far he's come so quickly. I think he's had great mentorship from Taz, Ricky Starks, and also 
uh, frankly, Mark Henry. I think, Mark, you've been a great, great, great mentor for Powerhouse Hobbs, and I think it's helped him a lot. Your mentoring only works if you listen, and if you're, you know, you can uh, hear past your own voice. And Hobbs is one that comes up. He always has a question, and you know, one of the reasons why I, I really appreciate him so much is uh, I don't have to tell him twice. Like he's just one of those guys that you tell it one time, and then they they go out and implement it. Yeah, this this is going to be a lot of fun tonight. I think. Uh, it should, you know, answer some questions about both men. And uh, I think it, it'll be a great match. And, again, the winner goes into a loaded face of the revolution ladder match where you've already got great people in the match, including Keith Lee and Wardlow. Yeah, Wardlow, Ooh. after watching Wardlow on Wednesday. Now, going back and watching Wednesday's show, Tony, a lot of wrestlers on that card got huge pops from the crowd. There's no doubt about it. From from Punk starting the show to Eddie Kingston later on the show. But the one that really grabbed my attention was Wardlow. You know, all this animosity and all this tension that's building up between him and MJF, this crowd is is ready for Wardlow to pop any second. Yeah, I think we've been getting great reactions to Wardlow across the country. Uh, it was a lot of fun a few weeks ago when we had beach break in Cleveland. After the show, I went out with Wardlow in his hometown, and it was it was pretty neat. Uh, the, the response he got there was huge. Again, this week in Nashville, huge response to Wardlow. Almost everywhere we go, he's super over. And uh, the fans love him, love the Powerbomb Symphony. It's really cool to see uh, the growth of this young big man. Again, like we were talking about with Hobbs, he's come so far so quickly. Uh, so I'm, I'm excited, you know, to see Wardlow at the pay-per-view in that, in that ladder match. Again, you got Keith Lee in there. And after tonight, we're going to add either Dante Martin or Will Hobbs to that field. And I think that's a great match at Revolution. We're on the road to Revolution now officially, and the card is really coming together. Uh, we'll be announcing, you know, in the shows ahead, including tonight and, and really every week leading up to the pay-per-view, we'll announce more stuff about the card. Uh, there's going to be great matches, and I think people are starting to get a feel for what might be or what could be on the card after this week's great dynamite and uh i think a lot of stuff shaping up for an awesome revolution well you mentioned revolution it's coming up on march 6th sunday march 6th and you know myself and mark will be out there because i can't wait for that show but something that happened on dynamite wednesday which i'm sure is going to get us to something probably at revolution is what happened with Mercedes Martinez and Thunder Rosa. I mean, one hell of a match between those two. No disqualification. And then tainted uh, by uh, Britt Baker and Jamie Hayter coming out there at the end of the match. And then actually seeing some love between Mercedes Martinez and Thunder Rosa on Wednesday night. Yeah, I thought that was a great moment. And, uh, you know, it was something we've been uh, looking at for a while that this could be uh, a big match for us at Revolution, a, a big program for us. And, uh, you know, stay tuned for more announcements on Revolution. But absolutely, the situation between Britt Baker and Thunder Rosa is something you have to follow right now. It's a long-term story. And obviously, we learned in recent weeks that Britt Baker brought in Mercedes Martinez to take out Thunder Rosa. And Thunder Rosa is very tough, and so is Mercedes. And this no DQ match they had on Wednesday night was excellent. I thought the response was great to it. And yeah, at the end, uh, there was some mutual respect between Mercedes Martinez and Thunder Rosa. And Brett Baker did not appreciate that, nor did Jamie Hayter. And they beat up Thunder Rosa as a group. And then they beat up Mercedes Martinez and kicked her out of the group uh, for showing some sympathy and respect the Thunder Rosa after that great match. So a uh, lot to keep an eye on here as we approach Revolution. That's a really exciting situation, I think. Dave, you've been in the ring with Thunder Rosa yourself. Uh, you know she's a handful, 
Yeah. So, uh, Britt, better watch your back. You know, and and you got to be kind of proud too, Tony, when you look at Thunder Rosa, because it was less than a year ago that she had that lights out match, that unsanctioned match with Dr. Britt Baker, DMD. You know, and again, Tony, in front of no crowd, it was just the wrestlers that were in the audience because that was like really at the heart of the pandemic. And she wasn't even signed with AEW. She was still with the NWA. And here she is now a member of your roster and hearing those Thunder Rosa chants on Wednesday night as well, like you got to be proud that you know you made the right decision uh, inking a deal with Thunder Rosa. Yeah, we really did. It was a uh, great response she got in Nashville. She gets a great response everywhere we go. And it was absolutely a great move for AEW bringing in Thunder Rosa as a free agent. And uh, now she's a great number one contender for us. And I think she's going to have a great future in AEW too and in the present. She's one of our big stars. Uh, And that was a great crowd in Nashville, like you said, Dave. And we'll have a great Nashville crowd again tonight on Rampage Slam Dunk with that early start time. Uh, There'll be some hot wrestling, and uh, it'll be a little bit different flow tonight, I think, with with AEW Rampage starting earlier at 7 Eastern and 4 Pacific. Uh, it was definitely a moment. Uh, speaking of moments, Tony, since we have you, and I know you haven't really mentioned anything publicly, so we always appreciate uh, the fact that you come on here on this show. Uh, two people that gave a lot of moments to AEW, Cody Rhodes and Brandy Rhodes, uh, sending out the statement earlier this week that there's, they're no longer with AEW, came as a bit of a shock to me as a fan, uh, but... But talk a little bit about Cody and Brandy and how much they gave AEW in the time that they were with your company. Well, uh, I put out statements uh, that were from the heart and really positive, and I meant it. Uh, You know, I I wish them both really well, and I appreciate everything they did here in their different roles in the company. And uh, it's very sad and, you know, not something – uh, any of us wanted it to happen, I think, but um, I believe that Cody got uh, something else, you know, in the works. I'm not sure about that, but we'll see. Uh, I'm sure they're going to have great opportunities in wrestling and in life, and you know, uh, you never know what's going to happen in the future. I wish them the best, and and very appreciative for everything they did here. And you know what, Tony, too? Uh, you have to appreciate your locker room as well. I mean, and this is something that you, you have to deal with all the time. Uh, and that is like, you know, the certain writers of of websites, you know, dirt sheet writers, and they came out and they said some things about Brandy. And your locker room came out and defended her and about, you know, the time that Brandy was with them and how much she did and the positive things. You know, even in an exit, it's you got to be happy with your locker room again, stepping up and giving positive vibes out there. Because it seems yeah, like everybody, really, you know. Yeah, we have really classy people in this locker room. It's a bunch of really great people, and uh, it's a it's a great vibe at the shows, and it's very congenial. So I'm not surprised by that. Um, you know, the people in this company uh, are very close, and. We saw that again this week. Um, you know, I think from the way people expressed support and also the way everybody bonded together this week, you know, after the fact, backstage. So um, not surprised by that at all. We, You know, um, everybody's had really good stuff to say. And uh, I don't have much more to say about it, honestly. You know, I this is the most I've said to anybody about it. I kind of have not been talking a lot about it. And, uh, you know, Dave, I love coming on and talking to you. So you've probably pried more out of me than anybody else. And I've honestly said nothing to you either here. So, uh, <laughs> so uh, well, yeah, we appreciate it, Tony. We really do. No, it was my pleasure, Mark. I mean, you know, uh, anything for you, sir. Um, I always look forward to spending my Fridays with you uh, and, you know, you're such a big part of uh, the AEW family now, and especially here on Fridays where the main event is so closely associated with you. So, you know, coming on here and, and spending Fridays with you before we spend Fridays together on Rampage is, is a, a fun part of my week. So 
So, uh, no, I'm, I'm happy to talk to you guys about whatever. I, I'm excited about seeing Jay White in action yep. uh, under the AEW banner. Uh, I've watched him uh, in New Japan for years and uh, always was a fan. And uh, I, he's, he's a guy that I never met, Tony. I, I never met him before he walked in the AEW door. And uh, and that's unusual. So, like, I'm I'm really really pumped and excited uh, to you see know, him on screen. Me too, me too. And I uh, hadn't met him either until last year. And when Kenny and I were going to Impact, and by the way, congratulations to Kenny Omega, voted Wrestler of the Year in the Wrestling Observer Newsletter Awards by the readers of the newsletter. And uh, thank you to all the subscribers for all the awards people in AEW won this year. It means a lot. Um, And, uh, you know, when I was going into Impact with Kenny, when he was the champion of their company and, of course, the AEW champion and the AAA champion carrying all the belts, uh, we traveled together a lot and went up and down the roads. And um, one person I crossed paths with, in our travels was Jay White and he's not close to Kenny and uh, they don't have a good relationship and things did not end well with them in Japan. But I did strike up a a good relationship with Jay White and I do like him a lot and he's a great wrestler. And when I met him, I got the feeling he would be very open to coming through the forbidden door And when this opportunity to bring him in came up and I asked New Japan, uh, it's been a really good partnership both ways. I think a lot of big stars from AEW have gone into New Japan and had big matches. And now some of the big stars from New Japan are coming into AEW. And you never know who's going to show up. And Jay White's one of their biggest names. And that's why I thought it would be awesome to have him take on somebody he's very familiar with and someone who's very familiar with him. And that's Trent Beretta, who is, I think, one of the hot wrestlers in AEW right now. Ever since he returned, he had that great match he won against Nick Jackson on Rampage. And uh, I'm really looking forward to it too, Mark. Uh, you know, Also looking forward to you interviewing both men uh, ahead of the main event. And then I can't wait till they lock up it should be a great match tonight, Jay White versus Trent, at that special start time. Again, 7 p.m. Eastern time tonight, uh, AEW Rampage on TNT. Again, you know, make sure you check. It's on a special time tonight, 7 p.m., uh, just before the, all the festivities of the NWA, Mark. And uh, you mentioned, Tony, about Revolution and coming oh, the off the fe- heel. Festivities of the NBA, Dave. What did I say? Well, he said something else, <laughs> but uh, ahead of uh, the NBA All Stars is the AEW Slam Dunk, and uh, I could have sworn you said the NWA and not the NBA. I, oh, you know what? I might have, I might have, Tony, because I got NWA on my mind, and the reason why is coming off the heels on Wednesday night. See how how well I'll recover here, Tony. Coming off the heels of Wednesday night, as an old school fan. Um, CM Punk and MJF and Punk, you know, saying, you know, be my Valentine. Um, and he talked about Piper and Portland, uh, dog collar match between MJF and Punk at Revolution. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. It's going to be huge. It's going to be absolutely huge. Um, and it is a throwback to some of the great dog collar matches. And absolutely, I'm looking forward. Uh, to this one, we've only had one dog collar match ever in AEW. Of course, it was a great match with Cody versus Brody Lee. And I'm very much looking forward to this one. Uh, the last one we had, we'll never forget. And, and I think this is going to be a, a huge match on Revolution. Punk versus MJF in a dog collar match. Um, I was really excited for that match to be announced. And I, I absolutely was feeling that one thinking about that one myself i think that's something a lot of the fans are looking forward to uh, on revolution 
And this is why I appreciate you as much as I do is because you are a student of wrestling. You're such a fan and you know the history, you know, that dog collar match and you and you had a big one in AEW. But fans really do remember. I mean, that 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 Piper Valentine match was at Starcade 83. You know, most of the fans that were in attendance on Wednesday night probably weren't even born when that event happened. So, like, you really are a student of the game. But I think fans are, too. They know their pro wrestling history. Yeah, we have great fans in AEW uh, and fans of wrestling all over the world. And it's why we've been able to bring in stars from New Japan, AAA, and other wrestling companies in America. And they get a great reaction because our fans, they watch AEW and they also keep up with wrestling all over the world. And uh, it really, really makes it a lot of fun when you can bring in some surprises from outside of AEW uh, through the Forbidden Door, which we've done so many times. And again, now with Jay White making his debut, that was a big surprise last week on Dynamite. And now being able to pay it off tonight on Rampage versus Trent at this special start time, 7 Eastern, 6 Central, 4 Pacific. Yeah, don't forget Rampage tonight, AEW on TNT, uh, 7 p.m. Eastern time. Um, uh, I'm sorry, AEW Rampage slam dunk. And as Tony said, not the NWA, but the NBA uh, coming on right after uh, Rampage slam dunk tonight. Uh, Adam Cole in the Dark Orders, uh, number 10, is going to be in action. Trent Beretta and Jay White, like Tony said, uh, the Forbidden Door is definitely open. And Jay White uh, appearing tonight on Rampage. Uh, the face of the revolution qualifying match, Dante Martin and Pat. Powerhouse Hobbs uh, tonight, and I'm sure we're going to hear from Mercedes Martinez and Thunder Rosa about that attack from Dr. Britt Baker and Jamie Hader, uh, Jamie Hader and Rebel. So definitely a lot of action, a lot of matches, and I'm sure there's going to be a lot of news breaking tonight on Rampage, Tony. There'll be a lot of news in the week ahead, Dave. Uh, I don't know if I'll get it done by tonight, but you know, stay tuned in the week ahead hopefully i'm I'm working on something pretty big uh oh man it would be massive and i don't know if it's what anybody would expect it is or think it is but this would be a big deal in pro wrestling and i'm looking forward to hopefully making it happen and um you know stay tuned i i hopefully will get it done and have more to announce soon you know oh what, Mark? You know what that's called in a radio business? That's called the tease. A tease. You know, Tony's saying stay tuned to something big, something massive, and something big for the wrestling business, Tony. That that was a pretty damn good tease to end our Same Friday show. Same bad night. time. <laughs> Same bad channel. Well, hopefully Tony. next week we'll have something exciting to talk about. I think there's a good chance that we might, and I'll keep working on it. All right, all right, all right, all right. There you go. Thank There's you. Always something to talk about with Tony Khan on Tony Time. Tony, thank you so much for the time this morning. Thank you, guys. And, Mark, I'll see you on Rampage tonight.